Hello from Seattle, this is Zach Hampel coming to you from a noisy intersection right across the street from the stadium formerly known as Safeco Field, now officially called T-Mobile Park. And there's some big time action happening here over the next few days. It is Edgar Martinez Hall of Fame celebration weekend. Edgar, the former Mariner, lifelong Mariner, was just inducted to the Hall of Fame last month. There are a ton of people here right now for the festivities. It's a bobblehead giveaway today, huge ceremony tomorrow, and for all three games, they are using commemorative baseballs. That's my main goal, that's why I'm here, hoping to catch one. Batting practice, probably gonna be packed, but those balls probably won't appear until the games themselves. So, let's get to it. Wow, okay, so before my videographer Chris could pull out his camera, I chased this ball down right here in the concourse. Just swing around with me for one second. It actually bounced in the bullpen and skipped up over the railing, hit off the back wall, and I chased it down. So there's no shot of that, but I am on the board. That feels good. And I don't know, I feel like it might be cup trick, glove trick heaven out here in the bullpen if more home runs land here. Trick action at Safeco, and we're gonna look for the youngest kid with the glove. Did you get one yet? There it is. Thank you. Yeah, that one out there, it's a little bit far away. I could get it, and it would cause a scene. Security's pretty cool here. I don't want to tempt the fate, so I think we're just gonna leave that one there. this stadium is really tough. I say it every time I come here. It's so difficult to catch batted balls in left field and the right field seats don't open for the first half hour. There's a party deck in left center. They kept that thing closed early on in the area down in front. So there really weren't any options other than trying to do the glove trick in the bullpens. So I feel pretty good about getting four from the Mariners. I have moved out here to deep right center field. The Rays have just taken the field. They're starting to hit. If they have some good righties up, I guess I could go up into the second deck in left field. Security used to be really chill here. Today they were a little bit fussy about the glove trick. So I'm probably gonna give that area a rest for right now and see if I can get some baseballs somewhere else. And they just hit one that rolled right to the wall. So I'm gonna spring into action and try to get a toss up.
challenging day here in batting practice. Right field is the only reliable place where you can get close to home runs, so I started there for the Rays, and unfortunately that's all I managed to do, get close. I came within five feet of one ball and ten feet of another, lost one homer in the sun, slammed my right shin against a cup holder several minutes after that, and so on. It was just one of those days. Toward the end of BP, I moved over to left field, but the only seats there are in the second deck, well beyond the range where most players hit them. I was able to convince one of the pitchers to throw one to me from way down below, but of course his aim was off and it fell short. Did he get me another one and try again? Nope! But I did finally get one thrown right on the money by a coach. That was my fifth ball of the day, and that was pretty much it for race BP. They jogged off the field after that, and I just want to show you where I am right now, because this is a pretty cool part in the stadium that I've never been to before. I didn't even know this was here. A really friendly usher pointed it out. There's a walkway way at the top, back of the second deck. You can see over here the left field foul pole, and if we swing all the way around, Century Link Field, home of the Seattle Seahawks, the football team, that's over my shoulder there. And way off in the distance, you can get a view of the water, Puget Sound. So I just want to look around here for a bit, get some shots, maybe wander up quickly to the upper deck. And then it's only about 20 minutes till game time, so the show is going to start very, very soon. Sometimes things just work out well. If you saw the recent video I did in Philly, when they were doing the Wall of Fame celebration, I was busting my butt all day, running back and forth, third base side, home plate, going for foul balls, going for toss-ups. I didn't get anything the whole game. It took me until after the game to get one of those commemorative balls from the home plate umpire. Today, first inning ended with a caught stealing at second base. Willie Adamas, infielder, ended up with the ball, came in, threw it right to me. You can see right here up close what that logo looks like. Absolutely beautiful image of Edgar Martinez. It says Hall of Fame, his name at the top. It's so tiny, I always talk about that, how the logos are getting smaller and smaller over the years. So that's a little bit disappointing, but again, I gotta go chasing. Again, I'm just happy to get a baseball no matter what the logo looks like. And I do think it looks great. I just wish it were a little bigger. So I got this out of the way early. And these lovely, lovely people. Where is this? Man, Vogelback is just peppering this whole area with foul balls. I should pay attention. These lovely people right in front. You can see them right there. <laughs> Turn around and say hey to the camera. <laughs> I was noticing their delicious looking food, asked them where they got it, what it was. And this fine lady on the end was like, here, why don't you take half my sandwich? So, it just got very loud here as Vogelback chugs into second base with a double. This is a crab sandwich.
for you guys if you see the Tampa Bay Rays. Ozzie Timmons, the team's first base coach, throws the infield warm-up ball into the crowd every inning. I got the ball from him in the middle of the third. That was my seventh of the day, and he's been hooking up lots of other people down here. Really nice to see that. The Rays have been very generous today, so thumbs up to them. Right now, top of the sixth inning, this game is tied 2-2. Two to two. I don't think I'm going to get another ball here. I thought I might get two or three for sure, but lots of other fans have kind of crept down closer to the field. There's some competition, and that's cool. You know, I like to see a lot of other people get baseballs. So, you know, about halfway through the game, and we'll see what's going to happen. The Rays are playing very well this year. They need this game if they're going to make it to the postseason. final here in Seattle and on the first day of this big weekend the Rays rained on Edgar's parade. They beat the Mariners by the score of 5-3. to three. There was one home run late in this game but other than that there were no big crazy moments. The winning run scored on a bases loaded walk. As for me, batting practice was somewhat of a struggle but I still stumbled into decent numbers overall for the day snagging a total of eight baseballs. Of course the big one was something that I mentioned at the very start of the day. The entire reason that I flew across the country to be here. That was the commemorative Edgar Martinez ball. You can see once again what these things look like. They are absolute beauties, and I'm thrilled to have gotten two of them. Chris Conroy, the home plate umpire, hooked me up after the final out. Oh, this feels amazing. So, including all the balls I gave away, the eight today bring my lifetime total to 10,975. 25 balls away from 11,000. I changed outfits a few different times today. I got 90 minutes of sleep last night. So if I look like a zombie, please forgive me. Anyway, I gotta go. I'll be back here tomorrow for the big pregame ceremony for Edgar. What a great, great weekend. Thank you guys for watching.